Hello everyone, this is Steven Simonis, Account Manager, FXDD, coming to you from our beautiful headquarters here in Seven World Trade Center. Allow me to remind you that foreign exchange trading does involve a high level of risk, so please stay tuned to the end of the video to read our disclaimer. Today I'm coming to you with our week ahead video for the week of February 3rd. Now starting early Monday morning at 3 a.m., we have the Spanish unemployment change and that will be affecting the Euro. Later that night, at 7.30 p.m. for the Australian dollar, we're going to have our trade balance report. And then also for the Australian dollar, at 10.30 p.m., we have cash rate and the Reserve Bank of Australia's rate statement. Tuesday morning, 10 a.m. for the USD, we're going to have the ISM non-manufacturing PMI report. Also remember that on Tuesday in New Zealand, there will be on a bank holiday all day. Coming to you on Wednesday at 4.45 p.m., for the New Zealand dollar, we have the employment change and the unemployment rate. Also later that night, we're going to have the employment change and the unemployment rate for the Australian dollar at 7.30 p.m. Coming to you early Thursday morning at 4.30 a.m. for the Great British Pound, we're going to have the Manufacturing Production Report. The Manufacturing Production Report measures a change in the total inflation adjusted value for output produced by manufacturers. Keep in mind that manufacturing accounts do take part for about 80% of the total industry production. Also coming to you on Thursday at 8.30 a.m., we have an ECB press conference. And then at 6.50 p.m. for the Japanese yen, we have current accounts. Wrapping up the week at 10 a.m. for the USD, we have wholesale inventories report. I'd like to thank you for taking your time to watch this video. Please email us if you need anything at salesteam at fxdd.com or give us a call. Have a great week.